BGAN stands for Broadband Global Area Network. Uh, in practical terms, what it allows you to do is basically to set up a broadband mobile office uh, pretty much wherever you are on the planet. Uh, you've got broadband data up to half a megabit. Uh, you can make a phone call at the same time. Um, you can do these things through a very portable device that's, uh, in the smallest sense, is about half the size of a laptop. And you can do all of this uh, on a global basis. Uh, the network is being rolled out over the next few months. Today, the service is available in Europe, uh, Middle East, uh, Africa, and Asia. And within a few short months, you'll also be able to enjoy those benefits in North and South America as well. We have built an, an extremely versatile and very much state-of-the-art satellite. And uh, there are no guarantees that it will be uh, uh, perfect for the applications that exist after we're a quarter of a way through the 21st century. But um, it's been designed with as much flexibility as could ever be achieved. Uh, obviously, a key part of that flexibility is the ability to dynamically, meaning within nine seconds, reallocate a channel or a beam to another part of the entire surface of the Earth. What BGAN does for Inmarsat, of course, is to move us up into the, the data rate and throughput world where there is overlap between VSAT and, and where, where previously the, the, the um, VSAT had the market to itself. Now uh, there will be an alternative for people, but by no stretch of the imagination will will VSATs wither and die. There are a wide range of applications for which BGAN will be a, a, a beautiful alternative to VSAT. Obviously, there are huge also applications where VSAT is the only way to go. There are some people who say that this will be a, a voice-led service with data coming on. Other people say this is going to basically be an IP access device that people will eventually find that they can make phone calls over. Uh, either way, I th the, the versatility and the ability to do both has got to be a plus. I have been managing the BEGIN project for the last six years. Uh, this is an extraordinary week because the F2 satellite is for practical purposes finishing its in-orbit testing. As I, have, as I mentioned, on Friday we will begin the relocation of that satellite to its final operating location, which means that we will have fully checked out its its communications capability and virtually checked out all of its all of its other bus functions. The remainder of the bus functions we haven't done yet we will be doing as we drift uh, from 8 degrees east to 53 degrees west. So for me personally this is the culmination of six years of work. The launch of the BN service um, practically a couple of days ago um, ostensibly for publication purposes today and the realization of the second satellite makes me quite a happy camper.